Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Tales of Arise. And in this one, I want to put together a quick guide on how to get and unlock the super XP boost. And by extension, to give you a few tips on earning XP in general throughout the game, but mainly I want to focus on how to unlock this item because once this artifact has been obtained and is activated, it will increase your XP earned from battle by 80%, which is huge and it is very important. Admittedly, this is an end game or post game item. You're not really going to be doing this until you have completed the story. But the reason you might want to have this is because, of course, once you have completed the story, if you then want to start pushing towards level 100 for the trophy or you just want to do some of the challenging end game content, then having a way to level up faster is going to be very important. I do want to put a light spoiler warning here. While I will not talk about the story, I do need to at least mention at which point you can unlock this. So by extension, there is a light spoiler warning here. However, just before I get to that, for those of you guys that are just playing throughout the game, generally speaking, there isn't really any need to do any special XP farming as you play throughout the game, provided you are encountering and fighting the enemies you see as you go and not sort of running past too many of them then generally speaking, you will be appropriately leveled for pretty much all the content. At no point when I was playing throughout the game did I spend time grinding for levels. At no point did I have to go and spend an hour just fighting random mobs to try and sort of boost my levels so that I could fight a new boss. Generally speaking, provided you are completing side quests and fighting mobs along the way, you should generally speaking be the right level. I do highly recommend doing some side quests as you go. I didn't do every single one of them because some of them are higher level, some of them just sort of take a little bit longer, but generally speaking, if you can do a few side quests as you progress whilst fighting mobs, you'll be fine. So there's no real need to farm XP, so to speak, as you're playing throughout the game, provided you're playing organically. However, turning your attention to the super XP boost, once you get to the point in the game where you have fought and defeated the fifth Lord, you will of course then get the second intro movie, which is super cool. And following this, once you've done a few of the sort of initial quests around that general area and you're free to fast travel again, you will find there are loads more side quests located around the world. If you then go back to the Trasleda Highway, there will be a merchant over there by the sort of caravan. And when you speak to him, he will give you a quest called Spirit Temple and will have you go and investigate the Teotel Plains. Now, when you go over there, you'll find that that area that was previously just empty now has this giant obelisk in the middle, this giant sort of looming cave. And when you go inside there, it is basically a dungeon. It's really cool because you're basically in active combat mode for the entire thing whilst you're walking around. But again, I'll let you guys, largely speaking, experience that yourself. Main thing is what you want to do is go into this dungeon, work your way through. It's pretty simple. You just basically need to walk from portal to portal. Every time you get to a new room, you just continue to walk your way through, defeat the enemies, go through the portals. Once you've done this about three different times, you will end up in the boss room and you will then fight the final boss again. That much I will leave as a surprise, you guys can enjoy it. I will say some of these post-game bosses are tough, but once you've defeated that, you will then be able to go and return to the merchant who gave you the quest, and you will then be given the golden suit of armor. The golden suit of armor is not a piece of armor you wear, it is instead an artifact, and if you then take a look at the bonuses for it, it is a super XP boost, which again, as you can see from here, increases the XP you gain from battle by 80%. Now, of course, if you happen to have the pre-order bonuses, you'll have the basic XP boost, which gives you the 20%, but this is 80%, which is huge. Obviously, if you have both of them, that's even better. But if you have this one, then it now means from this point onwards, any of the XP you gain from battle is going to be drastically increased. So if you then continue to do some of the post-game quests, and if you specifically follow the quest line for that temple, you will then go through the point where you will then return to that temple and begin fighting some stronger enemies in new zones. And from there, that is basically going to be how you start farming your XP. You'll basically want to sort of follow through those quest lines, fight the enemies as you go. Then when you fight more powerful bosses, you'll have the ability to repeat some of those bosses. And in doing so, it will increase your XP gains massively and you'll then very quickly go from the sort of level like 58 60 ish that you are probably at the end of the campaign all the way up to level 100 for that trophy if that's your goal so for the time being that's pretty much it there's a quick guide on how to get the super xp boost hope you guys find that helpful if you have any questions by me let me know in the comments down below but otherwise keep it locked for plenty more if you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.